Nairobi is an amazing city, but unfortunately, it has also high rates of crime. Back in 2006, I was in college in Belgium, and I came home to renew my visa. Not saying that this was, you know, wasn't there before, but I really just sensed an increase in crime. Like I walked down the streets and I felt insecure. I couldn't use my phone, and I watched a news article that talks about the prison conditions and how they were not good. And I just really started thinking that there must be a disconnect between people coming into prison and leaving and that prison really didn't change them, didn't change their behavior. So I thought, what else could we do? What, what was going on? My name is Vicky Wambura and I run a non-profit called Nafisika Trust, which runs rehabilitation programs within the prisons in Nairobi, Kenya. Nafisika has worked with 4,000 inmates in the past four years and our key mission really is to reduce the rate of re-offence among prison inmates. We do this by um, different programs that we run in the prisons which is entrepreneurship program and an education program but then the most important one is the exit program where we support them after prison just to help them reintegrate and to either start their own businesses or get employment. I, I have examples of inmates who their employers love them and it's amazing to see you know a, a lot of people who what deemed as they would never reform and now that they're being productive in society. I've been here for two years and I'm leaving next week. I have two weeks to go now. Uh, I am a pharmacist, that's my profession, but now I'm a better businessman. Uh, I, I learned business techniques from a teacher they, they gave us. As an Afisika has taught us they, 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 they've taught us to read, to study, and to be focused on life, and to see what can change your life. I'm going to start uh, my chemist shop, but I also want to start a small, a small school. This will be free, just to teach people, and especially young people. I want to reach the young people, teach them about attitude, and what they can do about their lives. And our target, uh, the, the, the unemployed, the ones who are also vulnerable will normally come to prison. I served in prison for almost two years. Myself, I was uh, imprisoned for preparation to commit a felony. Working with Vicky has changed my uh, life in the future uh, because of one, it has changed the way I think. I'm now focused on constructive things and things that are helping me to develop as a person. My hope, as I do my work within the prisons, is that everybody else that we encounter, whether it's the inmates or our volunteers or the interns, that they may also begin to pick up um, uh, what they could do in the community and what they could change. Um, our hope is that we make other change makers through this, that the inmates may decide that they want to change other people. And we've seen that. I have a couple of ex-inmates who are now saying, hey, I want to make a difference, you know. Prisons is a reflection of society and we want the young people in prisons to be ambassadors of change and not of crime.